What's up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to Pack. I'm back here with Lottie again. Hello! Um, we kind of messed up a bit. We got on the um, We're in London. We were heading to Swindon and we're now in London. I'm joking, we were <laughs> supposed to go to London in the first place. But we got on the wrong bus. We got on a very fast bus. It's, yeah, I'd say it's not too much of a problem because the bus that we were supposed to get on had plenty of stops. It was supposed to take nine hours to get down here into London. City of Westminster, actually, we found out. We're just trying to figure out if we can find Big Ben or Westminster Abbey or something like that. would be awesome. Um, but basically, yes, we decided to get on the direct route, but they kind of directed us onto the bus that we haven't actually paid for, which we're presuming is more expensive. Yeah, definitely. Because it was direct and it literally took four hours rather than nine, nine hours. Mm -hmm. So... We're just gonna have a wander around London. It looks proper, we're in the proper fancy side of London. I don't quite know what's going on. And I feel like I'm probably waking people up because right now for us, it's five o'clock in the morning. So, should we go have a wander? Yeah, let's go find Big let's Ben. Let's go explore London. I wonder if we can actually find Big Ben. We've got two and a half hours until the next bus. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. Now, for the people that don't have a clue what's actually going on is me and Charlotte are heading down to Swindon. Bit further, or is it a bit further? I think it's north, more north than. No, it's kind of like. Like to the side, east to the east. The anyway, um, for those of you that don't actually know what's going on, basically we're heading down to Swindon, not only to check out um, an apartment that we've got to look at for when we move down there, for when I've got uh, started Wilkes Academy, to start my musical theatre course, um, but we're also going to have a look around again just to get used to the place before we end up moving down in September. So Charlotte's going to have a look at work opportunities, I'm going to see if I can apply for a few jobs down there while I can. Same. So, London was our first stop, next stop, Swindon. I can't believe we practically got a free coach ride. <laughs> Imagine if we oh. turned up without a ticket and they sent us on this coach and we just had that little... You know what? We just got a free free coach ride. Well, we didn't. We paid quite a lot. I, just, just, I, just, I also yeah. can't believe how dead London is. Look. No one is here. We're literally... Yeah. Literally the part of London, uh, Eaton Square. I've heard of Trafalgar Square, I haven't really heard of Eaton. I have heard of Eaton, I don't know why it rings a bell in my head. But, um, we're not too sure exactly where we're walking to, we're just going to head until we find somewhere because we've got literally ages until the next bus, where are we heading to? Parliament Square. Parliament Square. And Kensington. A flushed away reference. But yeah, so it's, it's, it's actually messed up how we, how we still I managed. Really just realized... We practically got a more expensive bus. Yeah, Kensington Street! Flushed away! We're so weird. The other weird one, I'm normal. Okay, funny story, but not so funny story. We've just seen the London Eye, so we're making an executive decision to go and find Big Ben. Now, knowing us, we're gonna get lost. And we do have a deadline to go. We're exploring London. We've got an hour till we need to head back, so it gives us about Maybe half an hour's walk to try and find Big Ben? What do you think? We can do it. Yeah. We've seen the London Eye and I'm pretty sure Big... If I haven't been to London, like, to Big Ben, like, exploring London for, like, maybe eight years? Seven years, maybe, since I actually last went for, like, half a day? Because the other, other times I've been to London are for Move It, which was in the XL Centre, which is in one place. Yeah, right? Yeah. Did you just fall over? No. Oh, dear. So, we're going to try and find Big Ben. So fingers crossed. Okay. Not gonna lie. It's not what I expected I'd be doing on my Saturday morning <laughs> at like six o'clock. Okay. We haven't found Big Ben yet. The London Eye is over this way, but we managed to find something a hell of a lot better. So welcome to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It's mental. I had no idea we'd be here today. So, London Eye is just over there, if you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, we're going to head over that way in a few minutes, see if we can actually find Big Ben, but even so... Fucking hell, Buckingham Palace. I was not expecting to be uh, stood outside Buckingham Palace right now, but it's absolutely amazing. You're just taking a look at You're doing a classic tourist thing right now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's <laughs> Snap a picture, snap a picture, snap another picture. Alright, we're going to see if we can head to Big Ben, literally. I still can't believe we're right outside. I haven't been to Buckingham Palace for absolutely ages and Charlotte's never been. So that's why she's being all touristy and taking pictures all the time. But it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely proper and majestic. I think they're setting up something at the minute. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be on this. We're on the massive fountain at the minute. I'm not sure if we're actually allowed to be on this thing. The thing you see on TV kind of thing. There's like water down here. 
so I'm not sure if we're supposed to be on here. Probably best if we get down, but you know, I think they are actually setting up something like a race, either a running race or a cycling race at the minute, so yeah, let's go find Big Ben. He'll leave me hanging. So leave me hanging. Oh, wait. Almost failed. Right, let's get not gonna lie, Shell. I've never felt so intimidated right now. Hi, ducky. They're geese. Yeah, but it's still a big duck. I feel so intimidated right Hello, now. Ducky. They can literally jump in any set that I'm, I'm actually freaked out. That one was the scariest. One thing I didn't know, the queen has pelicans. The queen has literally every sort of... I, I reckon there's a lion in here somewhere. Oh god! Freaking pigeon. pigeon. You can't throw at them, they will bite your fingers off because they're mental geese. Nope. Not having it. They're not impressed with the shell. I think the pigeon wants to be stroked but the geese. It's like, it's like you in, in amongst your friends. Oh! You're the pigeon, in case you didn't get that. Yes, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm not going to lie, but St. James Park is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited in my life. Check this out. This is a view, and you can see Buckingham Palace in the back. If there wasn't so much noise from you bastards, shut up! Okay, that didn't quite work. Well, so this side as well. Look at that. You see the London Eye and the sun in the background. I know it's not blinding you. Now, it's been ages since I've been here, so I'm not convinced anymore that Big Ben is over that way. It's over that way, I think, somewhere further towards over that way of London Eye. But we don't really have time to visit it right now because we need to get back to the coach so that we're not late, so we can't actually miss the coach to Swindon because we've already paid for it. Don't want to pay for another one. So, how are you setting up for a picture? Picture opportunity with Charlotte. But honestly, I, <laughs> I can't stress enough just how weird this day has been for me. And my hair's weird as well because I did not expect to be going to London and going to Buckingham Palace today. My plan for today was we were going to get down here for 20 past 6, get another coach at half 7 to get to Swindon and then look around Swindon. But right now we got down here, what did we get here at quarter to 5? Yeah. Down here at quarter to 5 because we got a different coach that went straight direct rather than going to all the different stops so we managed to have a lot of time to actually spend travelling around London and it's so dead though because they're setting up for an event so we're literally the only ones in this park right now and it's so, it's just so tranquil so tranquil, it's absolutely amazing okay so right now we're actually in Swindon finally not in London anymore and we're in, we're in the house at the minute where we're looking at renting and moving into in September um, the dude's really nice, he's, he's our landlord, he's going to be here with us as well, so it's going to be us, there's like three bedrooms, and we're going to be in the top bedroom, which I want to show you in a second, which is, looks absolutely amazing. It looks a bit old-fashioned for now with all this. He says that he wants to turn this into a dance studio area, so he's going to try and remove all this stuff, and maybe put mirrors across the wall, which would be really handy, because that's something me and Charlotte have wanted for absolutely ages. There's a ping-pong table outside, which is awesome, um, but basically yeah, it's a bit old-fashioned at the minute, but he says it's because nothing's been done since he first moved in, which was a few years ago as far as I'm aware. He's only been living here two months at the minute now, he's, this is his second time living here. So nothing's really been done, but he's a really nice guy, so I'm just going to show you exactly where me and Lottie might be staying, so I'll go up the stairs. We've got a few ideas. He said as well, um, it's also a bit old fashioned, but he said as well that we can modernise it any way we want, as long as it's reasonable or whatever. But he says he wants it to be our home as well as his. So he, he wants to modernise it as himself, so that makes it a lot easier. Um, but basically, we've got a lot of stuff. This is a single bedroom, this isn't ours. This is a bedroom. We am sure this is his bedroom, maybe. So this is one of the bedrooms that we got. Sorry, I'm hiccuping all over. And then we got another one over here. Charlotte's having a wee, aren't you, Charlotte? <laughs> so, this is another one of the bedrooms. I've got hiccups. Oh, oh, hiccups. And this is another one of the bedrooms. It's actually really nice. There's a big wardrobe here as well, which uh, doesn't have a door, but it looks awesome. It should be handy if we move that in ours. Ha, ah, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to make them do that. Um, so, now we can see the actual room. Our room is a bunch of stairs. No, I'm kidding. Basically, we, we actually have this really nice idea for these stairs. It's basically get LED lights, but basically my colours, obviously, oh, I've got freaking hiccups. It's basically, obviously, my colours, obviously green. Lottie's colours, purple, her favourite colour. So what I'm planning on doing is having alternate lines just underneath, like, these bits. And we're like, green, purple, green, purple, green, all the way up. And that's going to be awesome if we can do that. So I'm just going to go up the stairs now and show you 
the bedroom that we've been looking at. It looks really, it's an attic room. So here we, here we go. I hate hiccups. But he said as well with the bed, we can change anything we want about up here. We can update whatever we want. We can uh, get a new bed if we want. Um, he'll help us out with getting a new one. I think this is a three quarter size. Charlotte's bed, I'm pretty sure it's either a double or a queen size. So I think we're gonna try and get one of those for this room. But I think we really like is the open pan window. That's huge, absolutely massive. And it opens really well, I don't know if I can actually open it. I can figure out how to open it again, there we go. And down. So we can actually see outside if we wanted, which is really cool. But that's gonna be awesome, especially when it's like night time, whatever, maybe the stars are out. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Stars are out or whatever. <gasps> oh, freaking hiccups, but we're thinking of putting like a TV here, obviously updating the bed. Maybe get some LED, LED lights and just making it our own, so it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to moving down here in September. I'm really forward to just making this room our own, so that'll be another vlog for you to actually see what this room turns out to be. So this is the room now, and in September you shall see what we do with it after. Okay, back home now. I didn't get a chance to film a proper outro simply because I got home. I went straight to bed because I was absolutely knackered from all the travelling. I think we had... Uh, was it five hours maybe altogether down to Swindon? Wait, five, six hours altogether down, nine out, twelve hours. We had twelve hours in Swindon basically that day, and then we had more time coming back up as well. So I was absolutely knackered, so I literally just crashed in my bed. So I haven't had a chance to film a proper outro. Um, another news as well that I actually thought, I think I might as well mention now, is that we should be getting a puppy. So it should be coming today, and I'm looking forward to that. So I should be actually making a video on that, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And I shall see you later.